Tim, congratulations, yes. through to round three here at Alexander Palace. Not your best performance by any stretch, but still a convincing win nonetheless. Yeah, um, I think it's it's one of the worst, not performances, but um, I think all respect to Grant Sampson, but um, nice guy, really, honestly, nice guy, well done in the last game, but I think this was my easiest game in 11 or 12 years I've been on the World Championships, and, and that's not mean to him, but you don't get that that vibe, that hunger to win that game. You, you, soon in the game you feel that it's going to go the way you want. You didn't know too much about Grant coming into this tournament. Keen Barry was a big favourite to beat him yesterday. Are you almost mentally preparing to, to play yeah. ahead of the tournament? Yeah, 100%. 100%. Yeah. I, like you said, um, didn't know much about him. And it wasn't um, it wasn't that Grant um, was so good, it was that Keen underperforms uh, massively. Um, I was expecting a better Grant today as well because he was very nervous yesterday. But it wasn't good and I could feel that and, and it influenced my game as well, which it shouldn't be. But I'm not playing tomorrow, I'm not playing the next game. I've, I've got 11 days um, after this game, so it, it didn't really matter what I've done today. And it's Peter Wright, reigning champion up next. We saw you play Gurren Price, who was a reigning champion last year, yeah. pushed him all the way. You seem to produce your best form against the yeah. biggest players, so it must be a game you're really looking forward to. Of course, yeah, that's what I do. That's what I do. I put the, the big players, the big names under pressure, and, and that's exactly what I'm going to do in the next game. Don't you worry about this game. Watch the next game. It's going to be good. But I'm good. Thank you. Kim, congratulations. When you saw Grant's numbers last night, I'm guessing there was no fear or nothing to worry about when you saw them. Um, no, it wasn't good. Um, I watched that as well. I watched the numbers. I knew it wasn't good. Um, I was expecting a, a much better game. Um, maybe early 90s um, averages, uh, begin 90s and uh, back to the 80 averages, but it wasn't there and you can feel that like I said in the beginning of the game that he wasn't there and I just I've done my job and I can't say much more about it to be honest. Peter Wright played last night he wasn't his brilliant best Evo did you watch that and did you see parts of his game that you think you can attack? No nah, no nah. I, I, I was it 3-1 in sets I don't I don't know 3-0 I, I don't even know I, I didn't even watch I heard he was wearing a Grinch uh, costume, that's about it, that I was hearing about it. I don't, I don't really care, I just have to do my own thing. Um, I was preparing for Grand Samson, I've won my game and I'll, the next day, 10 days I'll be preparing for Peter Wright. Are you going to go home for Christmas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going home for Christmas, first time in four years, so that's going to do me so much good. And I'm going to be so fresh on the start of the next game. I was going to say, that, that breathe on after the last couple of years, what it's been like being locked up in hotels, yeah. couldn't yeah. go home. Oh, this must, this yeah. must be heaven. I think, I think um, not celebrating Christmas at home cost me almost every game after Christmas, the, the last three years. So um, I'm going to be so fresh. Okay, thank you very much. Kim, is it nice to have that? Because playing early on in the tournament, you've got a long wait to the next game, but you do get that family time. Yeah, well, in the beginning I was I was not happy that I was so early in the tournament, yeah. but now I think I can see the advantages, because you've got a lot of time to just prepare again. Um, usually I was like um, one of the last games in the first round or the second round, now I'm one of the first, so I'm going to enjoy the time at home, I'm going to spend Christmas at home first time, like I said, in four years, three years. I'm going to enjoy it, I'm going to love every minute of it. What do you do in terms of preparation between now and the next game? And how do you have to mix that with your family time? Well, I've got, I've got a dart shop at home, um, so I'm going to be practicing a lot in there. Uh, every day for uh, the next couple of hours, I'm, I might invite some players to have a practice. I'll play some local tournaments to prepare myself and uh, I'll see where it goes. Cheers, Kev. Thank you. Kev, do you Okay. <laughs> Kim, first of all, uh, congratulations. Um, it was a difficult, well, it wasn't a difficult game, but uh, not much highlights, but you had that 1 5 4 finish. Um, where did that come from? I think that's about the, uh, the only highlight you have in that game now. Um, of course, you, I, I, I knew I didn't have to um, throw a hundred average to win that game, but 
when you're playing badly, you just want to show the public as well that you can play the arts. But I was like in the middle of a, a mind battle um, to um, show people that what you can do and focus. And um, the 154 was three dots that I could show that what I was capable of, and all the rest was a lot of dots to forget about. How early did you have that battle? How, how early did it start in the game? Um, well, I think after the first set, it was I, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna win this game, no matter what happens. If he played all of a sudden really good, I was gonna go above that, uh, but I didn't need to, and I, I, it felt like I was saving energy, but I was just lazy in that game, and, and uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to be a lot better in the next game. I know everybody knows that, but I will be a lot better in the next game, no worries about that. You just said it before, you are now 11, 12 years on the tour. Um, did you try to do something else in, in preparation for, for this uh, biggest tournament of the year or, or just the same like, like years ago? No, I always do the same. I just prepare myself like I always do. Practice before, um, the weeks before the tournaments. Um, when I'm here I just do my own thing. I, I focus on myself like when I'm on Pro Tour I like to play games with different players. Um, practice games, but here I just focus on myself and that's what I do best. Just uh, have a look back at your year 2022. I just watched uh, the results again before your match. It, it all looked quite okay, quite solid. Uh, how's your opinion? Um, it's steady, but it's not good enough. Um, it's okay, like you said, it's okay, but I don't want to be an okay player, I want to be one of the best, so um, I wasn't happy with last year, I want to do better. Um, like I always say, in every interview I want to be in the top 16 again, and uh, that's my goal, that's my aim. Uh, it's difficult because as soon as you're out you have to play the better players in the earlier rounds. Um, but my goal is the top 16 and um, I, I, I don't hide that. Thank you very much. Thank Merry you. Christmas. Thank you very much. Can I do a question in Dutch? Or uh, first English questions? No, no, no. no.